السلام علیکم و رحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ اے مسلم پرسن گرل اور بوائے مین اور وومن بفور میرج دے مسٹ انڈرسٹینڈ وٹ آر دیئر رائٹس اینڈ ریسپانسبلٹیز ٹو ورلڈز وائف سملرلی دا گرل مسٹ انڈرسٹینڈ مسٹ نو کمپلیٹلی وٹ آر her responsibilities to know the rights of the husband so she must carefully follow the instructions according to islam in order to fulfill the rights to world husband with responsibilities similarly the the boy or the man who is going to marry must know completely the rights and responsibilities towards the wife so these are very important this way the home situation will be like comfortable nice for both of them so in one hadith rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam also said that two person husband and wife if they are cursing each other if due to some disturbance if they become if they become separate then there is no chance they will become together again because of cursing so cursing is that type of sinful act which make the person away from other So you can see in one hadith that is in Abu Dawood, hadith number 2162. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa said, this hadith is revealed by Abu Huraira r.a.w. So Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, a person who has intercourse with his wife through her anus, is a cursed so the person who a who has sexual relationship with her wife from the place which is not allowed so from the anus so that is that person is under curse of allah you can see about this in holy quran surah bakra ayat number 222222 so in this ayat allah said auz billahi minash shaitanir rajim fatu hunna min haisu amarakumullah fatu hunna so when the women they become pure after periods after menstruation so when they become pure fatuhuna then you have to go towards them min haisu amarakumullah from where allah has ordered you so allah has ordered you from where you have to go for sexual need from that place not to use the back side the anus so be careful this way this is command of allah and rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam cursed that person who is going from that side and in this ayat allah said in allah yuhibbu tawabina so indeed allah love those people who repent constantly so it mean if you have done some type of sinful act then you have to do tauba astaghfar and don't repeat in future and be pure person from this type of sinful act in your life in your remaining life this way allah said wa yuhibbul mutatahirin and allah love those people who purify themselves inna allah yuhibbu tawwabina indeed allah loves who constantly repent wa yuhibbul mutatahirin and who purify themselves so allah love them so this way you try to be good person if you have done some type of sinful act 
request Allah for forgiveness, Allah is ready to forgive, then you are not to repeat that type of sinful act again in your life and try to be purified nice according to the teachings of Islam. Inshallah, you will face Allah at the day of judgment, mashallah, with happily nice way and you will get to good position in paradise so inshallah so try to be nice person try to do everything good so behave with everyone nice way softly and make your this life and life hereafter better allah give us tawfiq ameen